Just hold on one minute, counselors, for the prayer. Now, miracle time has come. My miracle time has come. Deaf ears will open. Blind eyes will open. Anything that is dead in your body will come alive. Barrenness will become something of the past. Miracle. The supernatural is coming your way right now in Jesus' name. Any kind of miracle you need, this is the time. So we're going to pray. After the prayer, you'll do what you couldn't do before. There is no doubt in my heart. There's enough anointing here tonight to break every yoke. Revelation to bring resurrection for everyone. Raise up your hand for your miracle. Lay the other hand on yourself. After the final amen, check up yourself. The miracle will be there. Father, we thank you tonight and bless your name. You cannot fail. You have never failed. Tonight, you will not fail anyone. Lord, in your mercy, in your love, compassion and grace, open the windows of heaven upon this congregation in Jesus' name. Every spirit of infirmity, of sickness, of disease, come out in Jesus' name. Every incurable disease, I command you, be healed in Jesus' name. Anything that is dead in your body, from the top of your head to the tip of your toe, come alive in Jesus' name. Lord, let your healing virtue flow into everybody's life. And by your stripes, heal everyone in Jesus' name. Let the swellings vanish out of your life. Cancer be healed in Jesus' name. HIV AIDS be healed in Jesus' name. Venereal disease be healed in Jesus' name. Madness get out in Jesus' name. Barrenness be healed in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray a rain of miracles, showers of miracles to my right, to my left, in front, at the galleries, miracle everywhere, deliverance everywhere, healing everywhere, blind eyes be opened and begin to see, the deaf begin to hear. Let people rise up and begin to walk. Receive your miracle. Receive your miracle. Receive your breakthrough. Receive your resurrection. Lord, let there be a realization everywhere now. I thank you because I know it is done. It is done. It is done. In Jesus' name, I pray. It is done. I said it is done. Put your hands together for Jesus. Check up. You see the miracle 
right there. Go ahead, begin to celebrate God, everybody. Give the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords of celebration. Are you just looking like that? Give clap your hands, all ye people. Shout unto the Lord with a voice of triumph. The counselors are going to go to the people now. If there is any among them that is healed, uh, you, you, you that one can hold up and then let us hear. Check your eyes. If you couldn't see before, your eyes are clean now. You couldn't hear before, check your hearing. If you couldn't move before, move your leg, move your hands, move your shoulders. Do what you couldn't do before. Very soon the front will be clear and then you come forward and let us hear what God has done for you. Begin to check yourself everywhere right now. Let the celebration start and while the celebration is on, begin to check yourself. Ushers identify people that are healed, people that are delivered, people that God has touched. If you're on a wheelchair, stand up and check yourself and begin to walk. If you're lying on a, crow, on, a on a stretcher, attempt to rise and you notice you are already healed. Begin to do what you couldn't do before. Let's celebrate God while they do that. Day, day I will never forget after I've wandered in darkness away. Jesus, my savior, the man. Cancel. Oh, what a tender. You can move with the people very fast. You met the next of my heart. In shadows is burning with joy. I am telling you, made all the darkness depart. The wounds came down and glory filled my soul. Yeah. 
Come forward quickly, right to the altar here. Something has happened to you, that's right. Those with testimonies can stand right from in the center here. Right in the middle here, start from here. God has opened your eyes, you can see. That's right, that's right. A miracle is happening somewhere there, right? That's right. Stand up on your feet and walk. You couldn't walk before, lift up your crutch and do what you couldn't do and walk forward here. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Walk forward. Walk forward. Walk forward. Walk forward. Something is happening. There is commotion of miracle here. is walking right there walk forward quickly lift up your crotch walk forward quickly walk forward quickly That's
was happening, don't remain. Come and testify so that God can establish the miracle. Your eyes cannot see their sin now. Your hand cannot move, move it right now and confirm that you are healed. Your leg couldn't move, move it right now and confirm that you can move it. Your ears can't hear, begin to hear now. Your eyes can't see, you are seeing right now. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Step forward quickly. Step forward quickly. God, there are already two people that God has healed of crippling condition. Check yourself and join them right now. You are healed. Let's go, let's go, let's go. What, what thing I go give to you? My pain, my pain. Judah, the rose of Sharon, a clap and a shout yeah. and a leap of joy. The Lord praise as you take your seat in the presence of God. Let us hear the testimonies. Give the Lord a praise. More miracles. Yes. From Cameroon. Come up here, Rosalind. She said for about, about 22 years ago, when she stepped into her grandfather's compound, she was afflicted with a leg affliction. Since then, she couldn't raise her leg. Every time she would walk with heaviness, she couldn't stand. But he said, when the man of God was tonight, her eyes opened, she saw four children walking out of her legs. Walking out of the legs. Yes. Now, uh, the, wait. they were dressed in red, red top, black uh, shorts. Those were a cultic kind of man, a, a, attire. Yes, and they walked out of the they leg. Walked walked out now the leg is free and for Should... how long you couldn't move that leg 22 years sir. 22 yeah, years yeah. do what you couldn't do before with the leg match up are you just looking like that Give the...
to hospital, she had been on painkillers. But today, after she heard you in the morning calling people to be here, she told her husband that she needs to be here. She must come here since it's her defined medication. She had, had defined painkillers. So she needs to touch here. She came in, and as soon as that prayer was done, she said, I see there was cold water on her head. And for the first time in almost 10 years, there was calmness. That devil Somebody out. give the Lord a shout out. Hallelujah. Everything the devil put on your head. He heard a sound on that leg, bam, bam, and she started walking. And now she can walk. She couldn't walk. She couldn't walk before. Yeah. What happened? You couldn't I walk. I couldn't walk. I slept. I woke up. The leg swelled up. Here, swelled up. I couldn't walk. Everything was fading me. I cannot drive. I cannot do anything. So now, as they are talking, as the fa uh, father was saying, was praying for us. So people in my side, I was doing like this. I said, ah, I can walk now. I can walk now. So those people say, ah, mommy, go and do me like uh, how, we, how did you walk when you came? Show us. Like She's showing us like how she walked when like she this. came. Like how can you walk now? Show us. Everybody look good and see what the Lord has done. Somebody give the Lord a praise. Everybody Sir, this is Jerry. Anyone Jerry, have? come. Jerry, come. He had suffered terrible pain on the right eye for 13 years. <laughs> According to him, he said he, he, he has been unable to see bright light. He's always with this cap to shade his face from sunlight. In that condition, he came at the instance of the word, of the declaration, the pain took off, and now he can see the light clearly. Come over here. Jerry, you have had this problem for how long? For 12 to 13 years. 12 now. to 13 years. And you couldn't see the sun up high. I can't look a bright light. I, and you have to use the cap. Normally, I move around with my cap. Show us how, how do you normally know wear it. No, I have to cover my, my face like this. You wear it like this to cover the, the, so that I can the light. To move around. So you can be able to move around. Yes. But now I can close my eyes and look at anybody. And look eyes. straight. It's God doing something here. Give the Lord a shout of praise. I'm going to celebrate. I can't let you believe. 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 What happened? Sir, Congratulations, is... Jerry, in Jesus' name. Brother Ochobe, he came all the way from Makodi. Over here. He o said, Ochobe. Ochobe, yes, sir. He said, 12th of April 2017. He got himself into a robbery case and that led him to be in prison, in Makodi prison to be precise. He said, because of the magnitude of the crime, there was no way he would be released at that point. Then while in prison, somebody visited and preached to him and gave him the seeds of destiny. While he was reading, going through the seeds of destiny, he said, the dream of the night, God used your face and appeared to him in the dream of the night and told him it is over you are set free according to him he said you gave him a copy of the bible the following day the following day sir the prison warden just woke up to him and called him out and he was discharged and acquitted immediately he came on the way to testify then he has been trusting god for the balance of that demonic activities in his life to be broken why the altar call was made, he came out and he said, Why was answering the altar call? He saw chains broke, chains were hand. broken, off, broken his hand. off his hand. Give the Lord the praise, people. Every chain on your life is broken. He's asking for the Bible. You give him a Bible, yes, daddy. This is Sister Olochisa, she has suffered from peptic ulcer for solid 10 years. Accompanied with that with was heart palpitation. 
she told me over there that the pain was so severe, so excruciating. She couldn't stand, she couldn't do nothing. But at the instance of word declaration and administration, she said power came upon her. Now the pain's gone. All the symptoms disappeared. And she's here to give God all the Pentecost glory. Pentecostal for Solid how long? 10 years. For 10 years? Yes. It's the palpitation gone. But let her the thing came back again. And today it is over. Yes. Can somebody give Jesus a big shout of hallelujah? It is over in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, this brother, Joseph, sir, he grew up 25 years to discover himself in his camera. And he said, he speaks very fast, but you cannot pick anything out of the words from your mouth. And while prayer was offered by Papa, he said he had a sharp pain at the back. And thereafter, the tongue was set loose. Now he can speak fluently. What of the pain? Pain disappeared. Come, sir. You are his camera before. Yes, sir. I born saw myself. I used to stammer and I talk very fast. So, and now I'm over 25 years. Where the man of God was praying, I felt a sharp pain at my back three times. And since then, when, when, when Papa said that I should die, if you have any testimony, come and testify. And, the and you are not stammering anymore. Yes, sir. So, but I was scared to come. The devil said, Are you sure that you are here? I, I said, No, I know I'm, I'm here. God has perfected his healing. Oh, wow. Do you remember how it used to be? Yes, sir. I talk very fast and I will be repeating. If I that sometimes has made me not to talk in public, I want to talk, but I will not want to talk because I will be embarrassed the way I will For be 25 years, can you believe the way he's talking right now? He said he didn't used to talk in the public because of embarrassment. Now he's talking very fluently. Can we give the king of kings the praise? Organized for you by the devil. Today is the end. Daddy, this sister Oge Chuku from Lagos. She said she's 23 years old now. She has never used her right ear to hear anything. She has never heard with yes, the right ear. With the right ear. Total deafness. For 23 years. 23 years. She said as Papa was praying, she just noticed a pop at the right ear and she started hearing echo and after that she started hearing clearly with the right ear for the first time in 23 years. Right ear. That is this ear. Close this one very tight. Say Jesus. Jesus. Thank you. I am healed. I can hear. I can hear. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Can somebody give the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords a big clap and a shout of praise? Everything that the devil has closed in your life by the anointing that opened these deaf ears, I declare they are open now. In Jesus' name. Congratulations, sister. God bless you. In Jesus' name. What happened? Sir, this is this young man is Simeon. He's 16 years old. He said at the age of three, he began to notice a certain pain on his neck. He woke up in the morning, couldn't turn the neck. He said he complained to the mother, and the mother told him that the doctor told him that it was a congenital problem, that it was full of calm. He was born with it. Yes, sir. That there was a malformation of one of the bones on the neck. So he had lived with it for 13 years. He said, he, for 16 years, sorry. He said they had gone to the hospital, applied several drugs, but to no avail. He couldn't turn the neck all this while. 
But as soon as that prayer was done, he felt a sensation there. And then turning his neck, the neck went that way. Turning here, it went that way for the first time in 16 years. How many years? 16 years. If it was before, how was the neckline? When you try to turn it, the pain here resists the turn. And the same here. Now turn it. And let's. Somebody give the Lord a praise. It was a very short prayer. See what happened. Beloved, get ready. Because God is going to do your own. Daddy, this is Brother John. Brother John said he cannot remember for how long now, but for as long as he's known himself, he's had this excruciating pain radiating through the left side of his body. He said while he answered the altar call and responded to that prayer, before he ended the prayer, the pain disappeared. Prayer for healing had not been done then. He was just answering the altar call. By the and, altar call. Yes, sir. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, who forgiveth thine iniquities and healeth thy diseases. He just came out for his iniquities to be forgiven, and then the disease was healed. Everyone here today with the same affliction, it is over in Jesus' name. God bless you. It is over in Jesus' name. Sir, Brother Michael had an accident in August and since then he's not been able to use that right leg to step on the ground. If he has to move, he must fly on these crutches. But while the prayer was offered, he felt power on the leg. All and of a sudden, the prayer is gone. See, I cannot be able to bend my leg like this, but see, I can do it. The pain are gone. I'm free. I'm free. I don't want to use it again. You don't want to. Sh show us how did you how did you come? Show us how you came with the crutch. The, what, what? See that Let's leg see. was not touching the ground that at leg. all. Camera, see that leg did not touch the ground at all. Now the leg is on the ground. He's walking with the crutch lifted. Are you just looking like that? Yeah. Give the Lord the praise. Lord is good, oh. Mighty God we serve. Sir, this is Sister Mercy. Four weeks ago, she's into sport. Had the mishap in the course of taekwondo training. She, she's, she's into sp sport. sport. She's a sport woman. Martial arts. Yes, sir. Taekwondo. So, four weeks ago. Couldn't walk without this aid. And in the course of the prayer, power came upon her. Now she What happened walk. in the training? She fractured the, leg, the right leg. The you ankle know? right there. The yes. Right or left? The left. Yes, the sir. left ankle. Yes, sir. Right there. The toes. Oh, the, the toes. Yes, sir. And you couldn't walk. Couldn't walk. How walk. did you come here? Show us how you came here with the crutch. You lifted the, the leg from the ground. You couldn't match the ground with it. Show us how you can walk now after the prayer. Sitting and looking like that.
your seat daddy this is a drastic miracle instant action unction this is our sister sister gift she said sometimes last year december precisely she stepped on a charm and that got this particular leg twisted in this form it twisted to she the said side she came like this in this form now that left her with both ears deafened both ears deafened charm Twisted, twisted the leg, leg deafened the ears. Demonic impartation that also affected her bone and her... The neck. Yes, sir. And the neck. Now, in the course of the ministration, ministrations, the both ears popped open. The twisted leg got corrected instantly. And she's here. She ran out crying to give God praise. The leg was in this form. This is incredible. Stand up on her feet. Show us how was the leg when you came. Walk gradually. Let's see. How was the leg? How was the leg when when you came? Show it to us. Which, which position was the leg? It was twisted like this, and you had to walk like that, like that. And show us how you can walk now. Show us how you can walk normal now. Walk there. Oyoma, oyoma Somebody me. give the king the praise. The minute. And the ear is healed too. The two ears are healed. No pain. And you hear me clearly. Did it affect your hearing? That someone came with her. Is there is that that person who came with her? Blessing again, you she's saying. Thank you. Thank you for healing me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a miracle. What a miracle. What a miracle. In a short time. A short time. Hold on. What, what a miracle. Twisted leg untwisted. Ear corrected. Just one chance. What a mighty God. Daddy, you are, Daddy, you are welcome, sir. <laughs> We will see you again, sir. Here again. <laughs> Give the Lord a praise. Again. Daddy, our sister.